Okay. So you're probably asking, what else is there to do in this prison cell that now, now that tingles up? Well, you can get that rupee there, but there's also going to be this. This is a secret maze! It's a maze of crawl spaces hidden behind the wall. It's pretty cool. Uh, basically, what you want to try and do here is get to the top right corner of the maze. That's the really the best way I can explain it. Uh, it pretty much just comes with practice. I think I actually wanted to head th the other way, though. <laughs> now I'm heading backwards, though. This is not good. Uh, did I want to head the... I just said I had this place figured out, and now I'm getting lost here. Okay, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. I have to go around in a square here. And then... Th yeah, this should do it. Okay. Back on track. Like I said, you want to try and get to the top right corner. And did you see how there was a little bit of wood paneling to my right there just a second ago? I think you're going to see it a little again a little bit up here. Uh, yeah, right to the left, there's wood paneling. Don't go on there, because if you do, you're going to get sent way out of this place, and it's going to suck. You're going to want to do that when you're heading out, but on the way in, be sure to avoid all that. And we got a chest! And we got some signs over here. Scriptures on rock, what do they say? Date unknown. At last, I have succeeded in stealing the Picto Box I have desired for so long. Succeeded, yes, but sadly. Due to a slight mistake on my part, I was also caught. I have been imprisoned, but I do not give in easily. I refuse to give this wondrous box to my crap captors. I have decided to hide it here in the depths of my cell, then make my escape by tunneling out. Yes, that is my plan. I see that worked out really well for your tingle. Wait, what does this one say? Well, don't jump behind it. Of course, if I ever successfully escape from the prison, I shall one day return to recover the Picto box. I will write the controls for it in case I should forget them. Set it to what? Okay, yeah, that's just that's just controls for the picto box, which we're about to pick up in this chest here. I can pretty much explain that myself, so I don't need no sign crap to deal with that. Here's our picto box. Set it to yeah, why is that Rex? It can hold up to three pictographs. Press R to view them. Yeah, it's a lot better than the one it could hold in Majora's Mask, but still, three is not that much, especially if you're doing the Nintendo Gallery. Ugh, I still have to figure out what I'm going to do about that Nintendo gal gallery. I can't possibly show it all. It's way too much content. Oh, vermin! These stupid rats, they'll just pull their little bell <laughs> and drop you. Oh my god. First they roll your barrels in the Forsaken Fortress, and now this. Oh, by the way, I was doing... I was in, going in, like, first-person crawling mode like this. Well, not like that, but... I would crawl, and I would go into first-person and crawl like this. It's actually kind of cool to do outside. I've never done it like this before. But word on the YouTubes is that if you do that, you actually go faster than when you're not in first person. So I just like to do that sometimes. Just usually I forget to do that. Ew! Oh, oh, if you please, young boy. There, please help me. Please listen to my tale of woe. Uh, no! Oh my God! <laughs> You've got such a long face. That's terrible. Why just? Awful, terrible, you mean child. What harm could it possibly do to you to listen to a simple request of a poor, miserable man like myself? What harm, I ask you? Okay, you guilted me into it. Let's see what you guys say. Eh? Then fine. Be gone with you, you wretch. I'll find another to ask. Go away. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god, I feel so bad now. Oh, did I just screw myself out of hearing that too? That would suck if I did. I can probably go back and hear it at some other point though. Not that it's that important. Right, um, is there anything over here? I think there's rupees in this chest. Yup, in this chest, sure. Oh, what about this guy? This guy's looking glum. Why so glum, chum? You looking for a sail? I have no idea where you'd find one. Do I look like a sailor to you? Look, I'm feeling down right now, so shove off, will you? Drop anchor elsewhere. Hey, man, I'm not... I was just trying to make idle conversation. I guess this ain't, this ain't Seattle. She is so saucy, Agency. I can't believe she's a school teacher. Rumor has it that she has mountains of tacky pendants and earrings. It's as if she loves nothing in the world more than jewelry. Hmm? Now just what are you doing? Were you listening to us, you scamp? <sighs> you rapscallion. You listen, young man. I haven't seen you around, so I'm guessing you're new to Windfall. But you don't know the bad... Don't you know it's bad eavesdrops on conversations that were, me that were meant only for adult ears? We're discussing very, very important topics that kids just wouldn't understand. Oh, sure. Dude, gossip is not a topic. I don't care what anyone else says. 
Uh, if you talk to this guy from this side, you might actually get some, something interesting. My dear fellow, I can't have you trying to come in this way. No, no, no. Go over there. Alright, fine. No, I want to... But I want to go in this way. Hey, don't push me. <laughs> I'm not a block here. My story is a strange one. I came across a cursed seas. I came across cursed seas from a land far away. A land where blizzards blow violently. Heading for this town called Windfall. So are you from Snowhead? That, that would explain the parka. But dear me, as I traveled, a terrible storm descended upon... A top. A terrible storm descended and tore my ship to bits. I kid you not. Yet mysteriously, only that escaped without so much as a mark on it. From the look of you, from the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. Oh yes, indeed. Could you not purchase that from me? It is my one and only heirloom from home. And you're willing to part with it? The people of this town do not seem to the least bit interested in that, despite that the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish only to open a mass a business here in town. So I am in desperate need of finances. How does eighty rupees sound? Um. Oh, sorry for totally butchering that guy's text to you, but yeah, I'll buy it. What the hell? I don't even know what it is, but... Investment is a good thing. Thank you very much indeed. I've received precisely 80 rupees for it. I can use these funds to finance my new business. Oh dear me! What a happy day! Very well, young master. As I promised, please, TAKE THAT! Don't slap me, asshole! You got a boat sail! Set it to Y's at her X and then use it while in a boat to sail across the sea. Press A to pull it away. Did I, did I press A to pull it away? Yes, yes, yes. You have made a good purchase today, my young master. And you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure it dearly. It is the finest sail in the world. Treat it as such. It may be, but... Like, yeah, the sail is one of the most quintessential items in the game, obviously, since it pretty much completely revolves around sailing. But you're going to quickly forget about that stupid sail. Uh, because it, it becomes pretty much negligible. Alright, where do I want to go? Uh, I think I want to just go over here first, because there's a nasty minigame in here. And when I say nasty, I mean nasty. It's basically battleship, so it means it's entirely luck dependent, which is not a good thing. But before you check this, uh, check that guy out. You actually want to head back here and get 30 rupees for your troubles. Yeah, so that's three free games right there, because each game costs 10 rupees, I think. Hey, welcome. It's 10 rupees per game for kids. You want to play or what? Yeah. Yeah, okay then. <coughs> what? Welcome to the fleet! I am the Great Admiral Dorolski! Look sharp, for we are the sole protectors of this island. Admiral, red alert! All hands on deck! Soon I shall the schools of deadly giant squid are approaching! <laughs> I can't do that voice with a straight face, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Where? Ah, oh, I see. There are three giant squid groups, a large one, a medium, and a small one. If we allow them to come any close, the children of the island will be in grave danger. Sailor, take command of our new radar system to seek out and shink all of these ships. Fiendishly seek out se I can't talk today, I'm sorry. Sink a lot of these fiendishly hidden enemies. But be warned, you only have 24 cannibals that you can fire. To destroy the marauding squid pods, you must so you must score four direct hits on the large one, on the three on the medium, and two on the small one. Use that to look around and blah 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 blah. Aye aye, sir. Wait, what's going on? Eh? I don't know. Oh. I didn't want you to repeat it, dude. I just didn't know what was going on because you got that stupid cardboard cutout in front of your face. <laughs> Seriously, this guy is so crazy. He's bipolar. Excellent. So far, our best sailor has managed. Okay, 20 cannonballs. That's a high score. May you fight as bravely. Oh, right. Yeah, so basically, there's no indication as to where any of these are. You just have to kind of fire blindly and hope to hit one. Oh, there we go. Alright, that's the. Uh, that's the three one, the medium one. Oh, here we go. And that's the four one. Not bad. Alright, now I just have to find the two one, the small one. And that can be the hardest one to find, obviously, because it's so small. Alright. Oh, I did hit the two one, and that was the three one there. <sighs> yeah, sometimes they can trick you like that. Bad news, sailor. The enemies have retreated or something. It's 10 rupees per game, yeah. I'll try again, you're gonna have to play this quite a bit in order to win. Man, they tricked me with that though, I thought I hit the 3-1 for sure there. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta kinda remain like pessimistic about that, or optimistic, that you might have hit multiple ones, like that, like I did there. Alright, that's 3, 
Or the small one. Oh, wait. Oh, look at that. that. Look at that. That's six in a row down there. That's crazy. So that was 17 shots. Not bad. Excellent work, sailor. Your deeds have successfully protected the peace on this fair island. We are so proud. The children of the island would like to thank you, sailor. Oh, this would be good. <laughs> That's just disturbing. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, yeah, thank you, Mr. Sailor. Please take this piece of heart as a sign of our gratitude. You are so great. And we get our heart piece, the second one in the game. You know it. Two more for another heart container. Oh, I can't. I'm dreading Twilight Princess where it takes five heart pieces for that, but... All right. Yeah, and here's our first treasure chart. Oddly enough, this is the one treasure chart in the game that doesn't have a description. It just says, you got a treasure tart. Treasure tart. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, because the rest of them will actually describe how you're supposed to use a treasure chart. And it's not, not that it's that complicated, but you're going to have to go through it with every other treasure chart in the game. And there's actually one more treasure chart to win here if you win for a second time. So even if you get extremely lucky, you're going to have to play this game at least twice. Usually three times, because you normally won't beat the game and the high score on the same run. I know this sounds kind of weird. What? What? I, I, I'm hitting everywhere. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, there's two here. Oh, what's going on? Wow. I just got totally destroyed that round. That was horrible. So bad. Ten points from Gryffindor. Just looking for the four one now. It should be the easiest one to find, but obviously not. Oh, there's that dick. Oh, my God. Kaboom! Speech. I love this guy's voice, though. When, like, you miss or hit or anything. It's just... <laughs> oh, I can't... I just smile a little bit inside every time I hear... That's a uh, four. Oh, and the two one was right next to it, too. Yeah, see, they were all pretty much clustered together there. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, I hit it with my last cannonball. What a slap in the face. Jeez, man. Alright, here we go. I need to stop saying that. That's my problem a lot with commentaries, that I really hate awkward silences, or any silences at all, actually. So I always just say the same things over and over again, like, here we go, or oh yeah, or... Ptah! Just to, just to fill the silence, and it sucks. It's a total cop-out in terms of commentary. Oh, do I have it? Sweet, I got it. Finally got it, guys! We are the champions, my friends! And we'll keep on fighting to the end! It's been passed down on our island for many years, so don't tell the island elder, okay, here, heart, please accept our treasure chart. And we get another treasure chart. You can see that this one is actually described, so I don't know what it was about the first treasure chart that we got that it didn't want to be described, but there you go. Thanks for playing and all that. I can't tell you how fun it's been for me. And don't forget your umbrella or nothing on the way out the door. <laughs> Why would you possibly need an umbrella on a beautiful day like this? Oh my god. I'm saying that in terms of the game, obviously, because right now outside is total overcast, which I love. But you might need an umbrella for that, because it might start raining any second now. I think I want to head here next, because there's plenty to do with this. Oh god, you're going to loathe this place by the end of the game. Uh, I loathe this teacher just by looking at her. Welcome to Miss Marie's School of Joy. I don't think I've ever seen your face around here before, my young scholar. Are you a new pupil? <laughs> oh yeah, I just transferred from West Side. What can I do for you on this fine day? We need to talk. Oh, the four most hated words in any teenage romantic comedy. I know I may look a bit flashy for a teacher, but I assure you I am I am one. How often, how long has it been since I opened my school here on Windfall Island? 20 years? Oh my. Ever since then, I've been teaching the children of this island about true joy. But I do ra have a rather joyless problem. There's a delinquent gang of four young boys who never listen to a word I say. Even though I wait patiently for those boys to show up, they never come. It's as if they don't want joy in their hearts or knowledge in their brains. Would, could you please catch their leader, a little boy named Ivan, and talk some sense into him? Dude, what is that clicking in my ear? I need to fix that. Please, young man, for me? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, lady. What am I, Adam? I'm not going to say that. Oh, thank you so much. You're such a dear. What, they're, the troublesome, they're such troublesome little boys. I'm at my wit's end over how to handle them. But they won't be so mean to a boy their own age, will they? I should think not. 
Oh, well, I'm the new kid, too, so... Pick your poison, I guess. Mm. Maybe they wouldn't be so mean to a new girl of their age. Of course, at this point, girls still have cooties, so I don't know about that. 